Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now, uh, this is a new series along with my Fortran series and uh, I'll explain you guys what LaTeX is and who is it for and what to be done and all. Okay. Now, uh, this is the outline of uh, this is the first tutorial and here we'll look at the uh, small introduction about it, who this is recommended, who is this is not for, okay? Why LaTeX and uh, the difference between tech and latex and what you need to do to get start get things started with okay now many of you guys my some of you guys who are watching this tutorial might be aware what latex is but for some of you for, but for some of you guys you may not know what it is so i'll just me give you a small introduction about it latex okay is actually a typesetting program or a software now what does it does is that it, it is used for making technical documents and scientific technical documents and scientific documents okay what I mean by technical documents and scientific documents is a simple something like if you want to write a journal for some uh, write a paper for some uh, repeat a journal scientific journal okay or if you want to make a large set of articles reports manuscripts books presentations and a lot of stuff okay and if you want to do some give make some you know mathematical homeworks if you want to give some mathematical assignments or set some question paper for uh, your for some max class max mathematical test or max classes or something okay uh, you can use latex very very nicely for it and uh, it's a free and open source program it's a free and open source software and package okay and it's cross platform meaning you have this facility available in windows mac and other versions of linux other versions and we have several versions of linux as well now who this is for as I told you, this is a typesetting program. So who this is for? Okay, this is, these are mainly for science and mathematical students, professors, researchers, or any other research scholar, project assistant, whoever work, who, whoever is working in science and mathematical domains, they all can use it. And who are planning to write some technical documents or scientific journals, okay, or some sometimes even books, authors who might write uh, large books or you know, large books and stuff, okay, even it's recommended for them. Why? It's because it's kind of programming based. It's like whatever you write, all the contents you write, you write it in the form of a certain program. Okay? And then you compile the program and you get the results. That's the re that's why. And uh, sometimes you have very simple pro uh, formatting options. You may not get a grand uh, form, you may not get a grand and exquisite extravagant formatting, but you will get a reasonably good amount of formatting for at, up to a basic level. Okay? And you don't have any mouse based features. So those people are working with these kind of things do not have a mouse based feature. So this will not at all be like uh, your normal uh, word processor like Microsoft Word or Libra Office or Open Office or Star Office. It will be nothing of that. It will be not like that. It's more of a programming based. You'll get to know if you see in the subsequent details, we'll get to know how it, how it works. Okay. Now, who is this not for? Now, if you guys are just normal students who are just working with uh, simple word documents and stuff, okay, or some simple LibreOffice documents and stuff, where you go, whom you find which you find is sufficient enough for you guys, then you, I mean, this is not for you guys because it's and uh, because it's a little more complicated for normal people to use. I mean, especially the non-scientific community people to use. So it's not for general public. And if you guys want, I mean, this is not for office works wherein if you have a large number of documents to be written and stuff and you have to document it and stuff you want to do that uh, this is not the this may this is not the right thing but you know you can do it i mean office works can be done in it no problem with that but uh, you know it just depends on what kind of uh, what kind of work people do okay and also this is not all recommended for people who do not know who do not know some basics of programming all right now why latex uh, first of all, it's simple. It has very strong control over formatting. Okay, you can control the way in which or manner in which you have to write something, read some, write something on the con on the files with your con with ni with large amount of pre precision. And you can control it very nicely. And then you can arrange pictures, tables, and paragraphs dynamically. In the sense, you don't have to worry about the arrangement and all. You just start start filling with the contents and fill write the pay. Pe pictures and t write the picture I mean place the pictures okay by invoking them and tables and write finish the, fill the tables and paragraphs and all it will arrange automatically and then it is absolutely absolutely good for writing mathematical equations and contents okay uh, many word processors 
with this this part is still a little clumsy I mean, not, I mean, sometimes it's not so good, but it won't. You may not get, uh, you may not get uh, a nice uh, print like that uh, in some. Uh, you may not get a nice print, okay, in other word word, word uh, packages, and compared to how you get in LaTeX. So that's very pref- that's that's one of the main fundamental reasons why LaTeX is preferred a lot, okay. And also, uh, it, it number it automatically numbers pages, figures, tables, equations, sections chapters and all very nicely suppose you have to uh, bring one chapter to the other you misplace chapters mis- uh, change the page numbers or change figures and all and if you want to you know change the numbers and all it sometimes it may be a tedious process and word processes and all but this takes care of it automatically so you don't have to worry about it and then it's useful for cross referencing taking care of bibliography entries it's very it works very nicely and then it works same while switching platforms okay this is something you have to keep in mind very importantly see some of you guys might have noticed noticed see uh, if you guys take a uh, word processor like say microsoft word uh, in uh, windows and take uh, some version like 2007 or something okay i'm not sure whether you guys faced it or not but i f- honestly faced it okay i write i used to write some documents in word 2007 okay in windows okay and then i take the file and put the put that file in my friend's computer friend's computer okay and i open the file now what happens is that he also has word 2007 but his windows is this windows is the same sometimes what happens is that the formatting gets distorted okay and uh, what i did is that i, ca- I kind of readjusted the format put this put the same thing in my other fr- another friend's laptop that time the formatting got distorted entirely because he was using word, word 2010 so what happens is that when you switch platforms or sometimes even if you switch sometimes you, what happens is that you just take a word file okay and open this in ubuntu or or some other linux files linux uh, operating system then your entire uh, formatting may get distorted very very badly very badly and uh, so what happens is that this kind of I mean this kind of problem may may, may be very serious right uh, very very really annoying because your contents are contents are fine but the formatting is making a big mess out of your job so this kind of problem does not happen with latex and it's uh, memory wise it's efficient sometimes what happens is that uh, when you write with word documents and all uh, you may have word documents and all what happens is that it will just takes it will consume a large amount of memory and if you work with very large number of files I mean where uh, files with very large number of pages uh, there, are, there there are possibilities where in the program gets hanged hanged it just freezes off does not respond something of that sort happens like that and all and it uh, and sometimes you know what happens is that when you in middle of uh, you're working something all of a sudden it just switches off, your power goes off and all the if only the content which you save till the last minute is available but what if you want uh, last minute is available what if you uh, in those kind of cases those kind of cases uh, word i mean other word processes can be a little troublesome whereas latex is not it's memory efficient because it consumes very, very less very very less amount of memory so it's doesn't take much of your computer resources and you can run multiple programs in the background if you want so and also what the most is another important thing is you get what you see is what you get output sometimes whatever you type in word when you whatever type in some word processor when you print them out you may not get the exactly the same i mean mostly you'll get but mo- sometimes you may not get the exactly the same output as you see on the screen okay you may get a slightly dis- slightly modified thing but latex is not like that to the maximum possible extent it's what you see is what you get kind of an output whatever you see on the screen it's what you get output okay and then a little introduction to la- tech and latex i'll explain what this see long time ago before latex was made okay tech was the pr- tech was the precursor but now tech is a compiler it's a compiling it's a compiling pro- compiling programming language it's a compiled programming language kind of a thing which is useful for you know writing all the content just like what we do in latex but the thing is uh, the code here this is the core thing okay but here writing contents and making a lot of formatting and stuff is a little harder okay it is just a set of com- set of set of you know compiler code codes where they it converts all the contents into proper typed typed contents or typed documents what well, that's what tech does okay and it was created by donald knuth okay donald knuth okay but the problem is tech was very little harder to work with especially for people 
it does a it was a good software yes but when it comes to user friendliness it was a little hard very 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 hard okay so what happened is that leslie lamport a person in uh, i think a computer a great computer engineer or computer software software programmer i guess not sure with the exact title okay leslie lamport is a good big for all i can know what he did is that he wrote latex now latex is actually uh, tech I mean you know it's text it's it looks like text but it's, it's not actually pronounced as text it's pronounced as tech and this is lat though it's trans, uh, looks like latex it's not latex you have to pronounce it as latex okay it it kind of ends with a k sound instead of an x sound okay so what latex is latex is it's actually a tech plus a lot of features added into it so it's actually an adva- an advanced an upgraded version with a uh, tough tech this is much easier to operate so because of this okay uh, writing your contents and getting the type documents becomes became much easier because of latex so this was uh, created by leslie lamport and tech is actually the core of latex so okay, whatever so if you learn latex you'll be learning tech but tech is very hard to work with tech is a little hard to work with so most of the uh, mo- uh, people now uh, people for quite some time Uh, they stopped using tech but they are using latex for a long, long, long time okay now now this is the last thing for today okay in this tutorial what do we what do we need to start with so we need five things first of all a latex compiler okay there are multi- the latex comes in comes in this all the packages of latex uh, come in three different uh, flavors one for windows and that's called as mictech one for mac or mac systems called as mac tech and one for linux systems called as tech li- tech live tech live now now the, what are these are these are just programs built for separately for each operating system but they have the same files these are like uh, pro- file managers okay which helps you to uh, uh, update modify remove add uh, certain certain uh, compiler files of latex latex that's it okay then you need an editor there are like full fledged editors like tech maker tech studio kyle technic center and so on and se- there are several others on the internet okay and there are and there are like uh, simply f- simple editors like genie gedit not bad and if you're like a mac user you have i think you have claw uh, tech uh, textmate and textmate and all okay but if you want to use those kind of editors like like the, these editors you need a shell other than that if you're using editors like tech maker or tech studio or the like full fledged editors like these these are also called dedicated editors for latex then you don't need a shell and then you need an optional you need a pdf viewer okay the output of the file is most will be mostly in a pdf so you need something a pdf viewer to re- read that uh, adobe reader or sumatra or any other pdf reader anything that uh, you are using is fine but mostly i uh, the full, if you are using a full fledged reader the inbuilt pdf view, view reader is sufficient enough and then you might need a ghost script viewer because sometimes if you are sometimes for some applications people prefer the output of the latex file to be in uh, output of the latex uh, compiler to be in uh, you know ghost script files okay i think they uh, have an extension .gs i guess okay though if you want to open that and read them you need this ghost script viewers okay and other, but this is entirely optional so what you have what you primarily need is a latex compiler and a, and a full fledged editor if these two are available then you are good to go and because this full fledged available also has an inbuilt pdf viewer into it so you don't need a pdf viewer and go script viewer that's entirely optional okay and then okay this is the last thing in this tutorial what we'll see in the next tutorial is that we'll see how to install tech 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 live packages for window uh, for uh, linux because that's what we are going to see over here and then we'll uh, i'll we'll also sh- show you guys maybe in a separate tutorial how to install mictech and everything and i'll also guys tell you guys how to install tech maker and tech studio to, uh, in my opinion two be- two good uh, full fledged editors for genie uh, sorry for latex you can use any one of them uh, it's up to your choice both of them have their own pluses and advantages and disadvantages but uh, in compared to all of this these are the best or these are the, the top two i mean not top two these are the best uh, editors i've find so far kyle is also good you see this one over here you see this one over here kyle kyle is also good but these are you can no these two and kyle they are like one of the good editors so any one of them is fine uh, in the next tutorial i'll tell you guys how to install all these okay and make tech since it's a, that is windows i think i'll show you a separate video on that now that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial 
thank you guys for watching and in the next tutorial we will start directly we will go to the installations and in the third tutorial we will see how to uh, yeah, we'll we'll get straight away into the right in right writing our first LaTeX document. So see you guys then.